Will you just listen to me? Now speak to me, that's what I expect me to listen. I will speak to you whichever man I pleases. Good, then I'll do the same thing. Does this mean you can go anywhere you want to go to? Come back to this house and I won't ask you anything about it? Precisely. Because I never ask you where you go. You were out two weeks ago. Did I ask you anything? Six weeks before then. Was I aware? Hmm? When I came back, I told you I had to attend to an emergency at the office. Cool. That's the same way I'm telling you that I've had to attend to an emergency at the office. Why won't you listen to my explanation? Why must I listen to yours? You know what? Very soon you're going to understand that this marriage is more than just your stupid sense of importance. Same way you would realize that ego and machismo will not work in this marriage. You know what? I'll just give you space. Great. I just know that you moving out of this room means you're going to cook your own meals. Of course I can cook my own meal. Good. This was never nice anyway. Nice. Now I'm just making sure you understand it's time to put that knowledge into practice. Whatever. Just get out. So wait, let me, let me get this straight. You're telling me to dump everything I have been working on and disappear from the office because of you. I am saying that you need to step out of my project. Your project? I was on it before you were called in. Before I was called in? I'm sorry, who exactly called me in? It doesn't matter. <laughs> it doesn't matter that the CEO and MD of the company asked me to take over a project? First of all, you know me too well to know that that is a lie. That action is beneath me. Plus, why would you allow anyone doubt your abilities? Huh? Why haven't you been giving your 100% to a project that was assigned to you? You brag a lot about how valuable you are and how no one can touch you. So what happened? So you want to prove that you can touch me? You know what, Sam? I'm done with this conversation because this is very exhausting. So you're threatening me now. Hmm? I have warned you. Get off my phone. Talking nonsense. You're calling me to threaten me. Are you crazy? Please, get out. <sighs> Morning, bro. Go yeah, Alpha. Oh, madam. Yeah, forget that line of conversation. Has it gotten that bad? Yeah, I say forget that line of conversation. <laughs> what in the world are you now? She don't go work. Uh -uh. Baba, why do you tackle me now? I only ask the harmless question. No yeah. vessel. You don't want me to ask about your private life. I won't. No bite my head, Abe. Baba. I stayed back because I got a message. Don't sign over the hotel to us. What does that mean? The man's son came back and has refused to go ahead with the deal. Why, why has he stopped to go ahead with the deal? I don't know. Maybe you can call the man up. What is wrong with this boy now? Is he okay? I mean, what is so special about that tiny hotel? The only good thing is this place strategically. That's the only reason why we want to pump money into this thing, you know, and bring in clients, extend the properties and take this business to another level. What is wrong with him? I think the guy has other plans for that hotel. 
And I'm sure his father is not aware. I don't even know why the man said we should continue with his son. We're almost running up this deal with him. Eh? You should have just concluded with us. The man is 80 years old. Um, I'm sure maybe he wants his children to take over. Can you go see the man? He's been moved to Port Harcourt. I know the man is out of town. But I figured that phone conversation will not turn this around for us. Better still. You know Isabella. I mean, that girl like you now. She's always fond of you. Took her hands, call her, talk to her. I mean, she's a dad's last daughter and she has the man's ears. I mean, call her to do something for us, please. I think about it. Look, we have few days to work on this quickly. I'm traveling for a couple of days and salvaging this has to be now. I'm on it. Okay. You update me, right? Most definitely. Okay. Uh, I'll call you. Hello. Please sit. Please. Yeah. Bruce and I are living like neighbors now in an apartment. I thought you knew more to have this line of conversation. Sorry again, I mean, aside being my partner, you're my very good friend and I I just I'm just upset. And you can't leave her. I mean, I've never supported this you know, between you, I asked you not to go ahead with the wedding. <sighs> but as it is now, going your separate ways will be the best for you both. That would be very difficult. All the comfort I have now is because I got married to her. And there's still a lot I had to gain if, you know, I stay in this marriage. <laughs> Can't she leave you? You know, we we have what we have now because we both got married. Mm. And if we stay married, there are a greater chance of getting more mm. from our parents and them. That's why it's, it's, it's a bit dicey. And she wants to risk all that. Neither will I. Oh boy. Look, um, this is a situation we find ourselves right now. Uh, I'm very sorry I snapped. I'm, I'm really, I'm sorry. Mm, it's okay. I don't envy you at all, but we need to find a solution to this. Yeah. All right? It will happen. Don't worry. Um, I have a meeting to attend. So I'll just get ready. And, uh, okay. Um, no problem. I'll call you. Sure. Okay? Right, I'll call you, bro. Thank you. Please. Save my. All right. All right. Yeah, waiting. Over project too. Project at the office. But listen, that's not what I want to talk about. I just want us to finish cooking this food so that I can finish before Stanley comes back, I beg. What do you mean before Stanley comes back? We do things differently now. Differently? What does that mean? Well, it just means that we don't stay in the same space at the same time. We like a shared apartment. Yes. Uh -uh. Even shared apartment don't have that kind of room. Well, we do. Is it that bad? It is. Ha. Huh. <sighs> Babe, I, I still think you shouldn't have gotten married to this guy. But you know what was at stake. I know, but... Who can marry with this one? Are you enjoying it? It's barely two years and you guys are already acting like total strangers. Papa, well, my focus is my happiness. And fulfilling my father's dying wish, so? My father said, how will you say a thing like that? How will you say you have to get married before your uncles give you everything due you? You know, for some weird reason, I still feel like my father didn't make that wish. But you think your uncle made it up? I mean, he's capable of it. Is he not someone that didn't allow me to live alone because he thought it wasn't ladylike? Ha! Now, wow! 
I think you and Dan would have been this bad. Ah, shop. beg, 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 beg. Which one is done in this matter? Oh, okay, fine. I get it. But babe, have you stopped to think about what if he's behaving like this, you know, threatening you up and down because he hasn't gotten over you dumping him for Stanley? But I didn't dump him. He wasn't ready for marriage and I needed to get married. Okay. I'm just saying, Chef, because that guy was in love with you. I beg, you'll be all right. I've told him to move on. Get over it. Thank you. I don't even know what to say. Yeah, it's just self me when you cook at the distance. Yeah, I don't wash me. I'm not used to wash me. Serious. Did you guys just pass each other? Mm -hmm. It's for the best. You seem so uncomfortable. I'd rather just silence than the arguments. So no, it's not uncomfortable. Ah, well, me for one, I don't think marriage is for me. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> because I don't know why going to something that would be chaotic. People that succeed in me, I don't know how they do it. Mm. So, big. with this whole arrangement, will you be able to date? I'm not even thinking about that. What? Well, you know men now. What? You can just take it, use it as a license to start dating up and down. But I don't care. You don't care? No. Does it mean the feelings you said you had for him before your wedding was a lie? <sighs> Pepe, babe, babe, please, can we just eat? Hello, Isabella. How are you doing? I'm fine. Sorry, I missed your call. Well, you sounded like you were going to sign a million dollar contract. As such, my call wasn't that important, so you put me on hold. It's not like that. You know I'll pick your call any time of the day. <laughs> Stop whining me. <laughs> <laughs> How can I whine you? You know I have a soft spot for you. Really? Um, a beautiful girl like you shouldn't have a problem getting to anyone. Gorgeous. <laughs> it sounds better coming from here. Anyways, so I, I spoke to your dad extensively and um, I did mention that after refurbishing the hotel, we want to take over the under three in Port Harcourt. So far, we've done everything necessary, but um, are you aware your brother has halted the deal? Sounds great. So when are you in town? Alright. Next week. Alright. That's fine. So I will I'll see you then. Alright, bye. <laughs> He is definitely taking advantage of the situation. Did you? Did you see anything? Did you hear anything? I, uh, I heard. <laughs> Honestly, I don't care. We don't owe each other anything, so it's fine. So why is this going to be? That's a guess. What do you mean? I don't know. What are you going to do? I think I'm just going to have to spice up my own life. Oh, oh. Mm. No water? If I choke, it's fine. The environment is choking. Together for the wrong reasons. 
that we could get away with appearances mm -hmm. but it only takes time to uncover all the lies I see that is covered now these years have opened our eyes to wrong skin up make right we can only argue and fight nothing is working no no these years have opened our eyes to wrong skin up make right we can only argue and fight nothing is working no no We got together for the wrong reasons Thought we could get away with appearances mm -hmm. But it only takes time to uncover All the lies I see that is covered Now, these years have opened our eyes To wrong skin up, make right We can only argue Nothing is working, no, no. These years have opened our eyes. Two wrongs cannot make a right. We can only argue and fight. Nothing is working, no, no. We got together for the wrong reasons Thought we could get away with appearances mm -hmm. But it only takes time to uncover All the lies I see that is covered Now, these years have opened our eyes To wrong skin up, make right We can only argue Nothing is working now, no. These years have opened our eyes. Dan, do you know what time it is? There's definitely something wrong with you. I'm not sending any email. I will send the email on Monday. This is my goddamn rest day. <gasps> Jesus. <sighs> oh man, this guy's just ruined my stuff. Auntie. Hello, Stan. Ah, welcome. Thank you. Please oh. sit. Stan, how are you? Um, I... Yes, I can see the surprise in your face. I'm so yes. sorry I didn't call before coming. Yes, Actually, I... Actually, went to Jeanette's place. Oh, okay. I, I wasn't expecting it. Yes. I actually wasn't coming here, so... You know her now with her thing. One call mm -hmm. today, she's in Kafanchan. The next day, she's in Kinshasa. So long as money is in <laughs> Yes, I know. Hi, hi Santi oh, and um, She's fine. She's doing mm -hmm. well. Um, Where's my wife? Yes, Santi. Um, she's still in bed. She had a headache day yesterday. I'll find out if she's up. All right. Thank you. Yes. I'll, I'll be right back. <sighs> What 
the hell do you think you're doing here? You are not supposed to be here. Auntie Matilda is in the sitting room. Who? You heard me, Auntie Matilda. Oh, so she called you. Told you she was coming and you didn't think you should she tell me. She didn't call me. So what, she just showed up without telling any of us? She's here already. So what the hell am I supposed to do now? Well, you might as well just come out and say hi to her. To your auntie or whatever. Or you can choose to stay in bed and um, give her the impression of things happening around here. You both lose. She's expecting you because I told her I was coming to talk to my lovely wife. You do us a great deal of favor if you come out and say hi. I heard you. Bye. Take it easy, huh? She's making real profit. She's been traveling all over Africa. I wish we would join her in this business. Oh, wow. So she's making cool That's money. A, ah. Auntie! Hi, sweetie! <laughs> Auntie, good morning. Good morning, darling. How are you? I'm fine. Mm, you look good. Thank you. In fact, the toy. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. Auntie, it's so good to see you. Same here. Oh, it's been How ages. are you doing? I'm fine, Auntie. I'm fine. I'm so sorry I didn't call before coming. Oh. I went to Janet's place and she had to travel to Akora. Oh, no, it's not a problem. Why is Auntie Janet? She's doing well. She's oh, fine. That's good. Good to know. Why you look good? Thank you. <laughs> um, Auntie, have you, have you had breakfast? I haven't, though. As I am here now, I'm hungry. Baby. <laughs> wow. Yes, baby. Come on, let's go do our magic for Auntie. Of course. <laughs> Auntie. Yes, Auntie. Right, right. <laughs> oh, baby. <laughs> <laughs> what was that? What's what? Why are you going to offer her food and then you're turning to me? Were we just going to hug, smile, and that's it? Don't you think acting was the honorable thing to do? So why couldn't you honorably offer to cook? Why do you have to involve me? You, you expect me to cook and serve? Mm -hmm. And avoid the asking the question, we don't want our family members to ask. Well, that's none of my business. Okay. Uh, where's the tomatoes? Ah. <laughs> is everything okay? Yes, Auntie. Yes, Auntie. Uh, yes, yes. Of course. Uh, oh. Tomatoes. Yeah. And what right. to cook. Can I get water? Sure, yes. sure, sure. Please. Ah. Yes, of course. There you go, Auntie. All right. Thank you. Okay, Thank auntie. you, Auntie. I would have to move into the master bedroom. That is not happening. That that's the most stupid. Keep your voice down. What do you mean? So, do you want Auntie suspecting I'm not sleeping in the bedroom? I don't care. It's none of my business. Deal with it. Why are you doing this? Dan, what is wrong with you? What part of I will deal with it on Monday don't you get? Can you just stop bugging my phone? Approach is very important. You know? Hey, how I handle my office is none of your business. Do not ever get involved in my shit. Sunny, I'll be in my room. Oh, Auntie, no, no, no. I, I now use that place as a study. I'll get you to another room. Oh, okay. You see what care. I was saying? I don't care. None of my you, business. You, you, none of my business. I don't have to deal with it. You figure it out. Just get out. If on my first visit, you give me this kind of treats, I wonder what will happen to me in the next two weeks that I'm going to be here. Oh, no. <laughs> Until you're staying here for two weeks? Yes. Wow. Mm. Honey, did you hear that? Yeah, two weeks. Uh, you might as well make it um, one month, Auntie. <laughs> That's beautiful. Wow. Okay. Um, 
Uh, and did you do you need me to get you more? Uh, let me finish this one okay. first. Uh, baby, um, you can get onto more. <laughs> okay, I see. Just if you need anything, I'll I'll be in the kitchen. Thank you. All right. We got together for the wrong reasons. Thought we could get away with the appearances. But it only takes time to uncover All the lies I see that is covered Now, these years have opened our eyes To wrong skin up, make right We can only argue and fight Nothing is working, no, no These years have opened our eyes To wrong skin up, make right We can only argue Nothing is working, no, no Two wrongs cannot make a right Nothing is working, no, no It was a mistake from the start Nothing is working, no Got together for the wrong reasons. Thought we could get away with the appearances. Mm -hmm. But it only takes time to uncover all the lies I see that is covered. Ah, Auntie, good morning. Good morning. You're cooking? Yes, you're not used to waking up this early. Yeah, I came to get water. I drink water like fish these days. Mm -hmm. And um, I've been waking up early too. You know, waking up early is my best option, Auntie. And water is very good for the health. A lot of water. Um, so, let me get you on. Hmm. There we go. Thank you. You're welcome. Um, is my wife still sleeping? Yes, please. Oh, that's why you're making breakfast. Um, you know, Auntie, that air out. Women coming to kitchen alone is past. Now men can also cook, you know? <laughs> I know, but the last time I was here, you're not used to entering the kitchen. What's changed? Okay, Auntie, so I'm trying to do something different. You see, I believe there's a special treatment called breakfast in bed. Oh, yes. <laughs> I've always known you to be a romantic person. I don't have a choice. <laughs> mm, so you have to get it fast so she doesn't come out. Sure, sure. Oh, oh yes, I was going to do that. And the water. Ah uh, yes, yes. Yeah. Water. Drinking a lot of water. Make sure you do it well, so she 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 it gets warm. Ah, Auntie, you know how to go now. <laughs> uh, you use this spoon. Oh, okay. Okay. Uh, I'll be in my room. And if you, if you need more water, I can. Oh, no, get it's you. okay. Okay. Just make sure it's sure. well cooked. Okay, I do. The reason I'm here is because of Auntie Matilda. What the hell does that mean? I like you. I was preparing breakfast for you. So I had to come in here. There is no way I'm eating that. I wasn't going to give it to you in the first place. Where are you going? To make my own breakfast. That's ridiculous. I just told you I lied to her about making breakfast for you. So? Stop behaving childish. <laughs> I'm behaving childish. Okay, you know what? Just come. Take some of the breakfast. When you go out there, pretend you've eaten it, okay? Please. Let's do this first. Just 
Tastes good though. What's wrong? Did you eat poison? Why the hell did you put some more salt? Oh, sorry. It's horrible. I'm eating a different egg. It's no salt on this, it's just pepper. Is it actually has a problem with her taste bad or something? Hmm. Maybe I added too much pepper. I came down to make you breakfast. <laughs> Leaving such a romantic moment with your husband. <laughs> if I'm in your shoes, I will not. Oh. Not in this world and in the world to come. See, we have those moments all the time. <laughs> I, I mean, it's not right that my husband and I are eating when our own auntie has not eaten breakfast. Mm. I had to roll downstairs to come and cook something for you. So thoughtful of you. Thank you see you. why I like coming here all the time? Mm. That was why even when every other person objected to the urgency in your introduction, me, I supported. I said, this marriage, it will stand up. <laughs> so long you. as I'm there, it will stand. <laughs> Thank you, you know? Ah, I hope he is really taking care of you the way you're taking care of him. He makes me very happy. Oh, he does. So he good makes me so happy. I'm so happy to hear that. <laughs> Oh, <laughs> hold on. Don't tell me you finished everything without your wife. Ah, it's all right now. Food um, longer, this one. <laughs> baby, um, yes. So I'm just going to take a little of um, whatever it is you're preparing. Okay. Why is that? Oh, okay. Ah, oh, the romantic moment has already filled your tongue. No, no, Auntie, you know. <laughs> um, I just leave you two to get along. Okay. Baby, uh, I'm gonna be in the room. Which room? Um, the bedroom. Yeah. Ah, honey. Here, baby. Don't you complete your romance and just help with the dishes? Ah, yes, the the dishes. <laughs> Let me just pick something upstairs in the room, and I I come back. Okay, yeah, baby. Mm -hmm. <laughs> All right. <laughs> All right. Later. Later. Uh, yes. Yeah. Something nice. Oh. I think I will join you in doing this. Okay, so, well, let me try. This. What are we cooking? I was going to make some boiled sweet potatoes okay. and egg sauce. Okay. Would you like that? We got together for the wrong reasons. Hello, Isabella. How are you doing? Good. Oh, really? When does you want to meet us? Oh, okay. He would like to speak with us. Yeah, that's fine. But you know, I don't really know your brother like that. I'm not. I'm not too familiar with him. Fantastic, fantastic. Okay, so yeah, I think seeing you before meeting him will help me prepare better. Yes. So when are you coming around? You call me. All right then. Thanks. I respect your call. Talk to you later then. Bye. Hmm. It's looking good. Auntie. What's going on? Nothing actually. I went to the study room to get my bag. I'm on my way to work. I didn't want to disturb you after you were sleeping. Oh, I've been in my room. Okay. 
Then I, I'll be on my way. Okay. Um, where's my wife? Oh, she left earlier. She left a long time ago. All right. Have a nice day. Okay, I'll see you. Yeah. Good your favorite uh, TV program? Yeah, my usual program. <laughs> I love it so much. I can tell. See, you always watching it. Mm -hmm. uh, when is my wife coming back? Because I'm hungry. Oh, aren't you? Sorry. Let me place a call. I'll be right back. supposed to be talking about dinner here. We have a guest. Do you want her to ruin everything for us? So, because we have a guest, I should drop everything I'm doing and run to you? You're lying to yourself. If you want her to be here, you would have been here. It's nothing about abandoning any job. Do you understand? Anyways, why did you lock the bedroom? <laughs> I locked it because it's my room. I can lock it whenever I like. Can you be at least sensitive for once? We are trying to put up an appearance here. And there you are trying to mess everything up. What is wrong with you? I came into the house, noticed you filled up the master bedroom. What was I supposed to do? I had to lie to Auntie that um, I need to do some work uh, in my study, blah, 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 blah. What is wrong with you? I don't care. Listen, I'm done with this conversation, okay? How long is it going to take you to get here? When you see me, you see me. What the hell? What did he want? I don't want to talk about that. Bitch. You'll be coming down now. Like that, that guy money. just knows how to get on my last nerves. You just have to be careful. Self-control, my love. <laughs> Sorry. It's my bad decision. Auntie, I just spoke to her. She was out of in traffic. So yeah. I will um I'll get you your food. Let me join you. Mm -hmm, auntie, my wife will not be happy. I'm stressing you. But that's no stress. It's okay. I'll, I'll be right back. All right, if you say so.
you're welcome. <laughs> Thank you. How was today? It was fine. Well, that means you were already close when he called you. Yeah, I, I was around. I love to hear you give permission to your husband. Permission? I... Yes, to enter the kitchen for dinner. Oh, yes. He yes. called you? Yes, yes, of course. Yes, he did. Yes. I, he's, he's in the kitchen. Yes, he is. Let me go help him. All right. <laughs> All right. Welcome. Thank you. This is what you want to pass as my food. Do you have an option? Why does it look so cheap? Where did you get this cheap food from? Look, is it like you want to help me? You want to keep criticizing? And she's hungry. But this food had better taste good. Fanti thinks I can cook. Don't touch anything. Just drop it. Step aside. Right. Food is ready. Okay, so Auntie, I'll just go to. Why is there just one plate? Auntie, this one is for just you. No. Yes. I insist we all eat together. At least for today. I, I need to go and freshen up. I've had a long mm -mm. day. Mm -mm. And Auntie, I need to go to the study. Yes, I've been meaning to ask you. That room, which you're always... Yes, um, it's my study room. I, I've got a new contract I'm working on, so mostly I'm there working overtime. Okay, so, but let's have dinner first, then you can go walk. Please, go get your plate. Of course. Mm -hmm. Sit. Honey, I'll, I'll get you your plate. Okay. <laughs> Oh. Yeah. Good to know you're in town. I can't wait to see you. Yeah, I'll send you the address immediately. Alright, see you soon. Bye. Dan, please just get out of my way. Get out of my way, um, please. Rosie, we need to talk. About what? Or have you come here to threaten me again? Rosie, I'm sorry that I, I threatened you. I was hurting. Hmm. Actually, I was the one who suggested to the MD that you should be included in the project team. Really? Yes, because I know my strength and I know yours too. And instead, he collected the project from me and gave it to you. Listen, Rosie, I'm so sorry that I let my emotion get the better part of me. Please. That was why I was calling you the other day, so you can check your email and see my resignation later. You want to resign? Yes. Why? Rosie, a lot is happening to me. It's not something I can talk about here. Dan, what's going on? Oh, do you at least want to talk about it? Yeah, I wouldn't mind. Okay, fine. Just drive behind me. Can we do lunch? Yeah, that's perfect. All right. All Thank you. 
You know it's always fun having her around with you, right? It is. But why are you always running away from me? I'm not running away from you. You know, I got married and um, things have changed, you know. Schedule's a bit tighter now. Hmm. Stanley, if you care, you make time for me. Of course, you will. Just like now. Okay, I promise to make time, okay? Mm. Enjoy your food. <laughs> okay. Cheers to making time. Cheers. Are you okay? Stanley? Yes, yes. Are you okay? Yes, yes, yes. Everything is fine. Are you sure? Yes, I'm sure. Uh. Stanley, yes. your countenance is different. Are you sure you're okay? Yes, Stanley, you yes. don't look fine. Are you sure you're okay? Yes, I'm, I'm okay. You know you can always talk to me, right? Yes. Okay. We got together for the wrong reason. Okay. Let's eat. Isabella. <laughs> How do you find the food? Mm. Very nice. Thirsty. I'm sorry about that. <laughs> it's fine. <laughs> Stanley. Hmm? Yes, Kelly. I need you to get me a very good divorce lawyer. Yeah, as soon as possible. Why? Look, I saw my so-called wife with her ex during the date. Look, I've had enough of this. I don't want it anymore. I want out. I need you to get me a very good divorce lawyer. And let's settle this. Do you understand? Pushy and the guy works in the same office now. Caleb, 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 what are you saying? What are you saying? If it's an official, what were they doing at the restaurant? Is their office not big enough for them to have whatever meeting that it is that they want to have? Look, I'm tired of this. I'm just tired. You, you know what is at stake with your father, Abby? I don't care what is at stake. I don't care whatever my father wants to give me or whatever. I'm, I don't want it. I just want to get over with this divorce. I want, I want out. Please, make some calls and give me a very good divorce lawyer. Yeah, 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 work on it. No, Allah. Caleb, it's not a matter of working on it. I'm serious. I said, get me a very good divorce lawyer, okay? I know you can do it. There's no time. Um, I'll make the calls and get back to you now. Call you too. Got together for the wrong reasons. Thought we could get away with a few answers. Good. Um, hello, sir. Hi. Good afternoon. Um, I got your number from a friend. She tells me that you're the best divorce lawyer that she knows of. Good. Good to know. Well, sir, I would like to have a divorce. The fastest possible way. I've been married for two years. Just two years. No? No children? Yes, sir, I'm ready. A mistake from the start. Nothing is working, no, no. Good morning. 
morning. Where's my wife? Oh. Auntie. <laughs> Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Hope you slept well. I did. I did. You? I'm fine. Good. Um, Stan, I got a call from Janet late last night. Since it was late, so I couldn't tell you guys. Oh. I'll be leaving this morning. Oh, aren't you? Yeah, she's back already, so. Oh, wow. So sad. I thought you were going to stay like a month. She said two weeks. Yes, I would have loved to stay for that one month, but um, she needs me. Oh. There's something we need to do together. It's okay, we understand. Okay. Yeah. I miss you. I miss you too. My darling wife. Yes, I Please see. take care of your husband. Always. Mm -hmm. Always. And you, Stan. Always make her smile. Yeah, my baby. These smiling face, right? I want to keep <laughs> seeing them. <laughs> okay. okay, Auntie. Thank you so much. You're welcome. Come here. Ah. Mm -hmm. I'm going to miss you guys. Yeah. Take care. Mm -hmm. Sure. So, um, let me go upstairs and pack my things. Okay, mm -hmm. alright. <laughs> Auntie, do you need any help? Oh no, the bag is not big. Okay, okay. I'll do it myself. Right. Thank you. Yes, Auntie. Oh, 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 Nothing is working, no, no. These years have opened our eyes. The wrongs cannot make a right. We can only argue in fight. Nothing is working. I'm leaving. So why are you telling me? I'm leaving this marriage. I found a new place to stay. Please, I beg you. Don't make this whole thing too difficult for us what to manage. What whole thing? The divorce. <laughs> Honey, I want it faster than you can imagine. That makes it two of us then. What is this place? It's a service apartment. I'm going to be staying here for a while until I get a permanent place. You look sad. What is wrong? Life happens. Anyways, thank you for coming. It's fine. Not always. <laughs> Thank you. So, we'll talk about it, right? Sure. Um, I've got some drinks in the fridge if you want to. Mm, I'm okay, I'm fine. For now. I'm right. okay. Thank you for coming. It's fine. So... Never really lived alone. 
Well, aside from the three months that I rebelled, no. Oh, then after the three months? Well, um, my uncles had my cousin move in. Oh, the parents must have been very strict. I lost my parents when I was 17. Mm. To be honest, I didn't really see the need to be independent. But my old man is blackmailing me. What do you mean blackmailing you? Um, he said I have to get married and become responsible. <laughs> but I get to choose the woman of my choice. Wow. Yeah. And wow. when I choose a bride, I will inherit a lot of goodies. <laughs> you know the funny thing? I can totally relate. My uncle is doing the same thing. My uncle says that my father had a dying wish that I had to get married before Are I could. Are you kidding me? It's crazy. Wow. <laughs> what a coincidence. Well, cheers to that coincidence. <laughs> cheers to At least we have something in common. <laughs> to get in more properties, finding a wife. <laughs> about to cook the food? Yes. It's past 9 p.m. I got back barely two hours ago. You got back barely two hours ago and um, you're not about to prepare the food. Why are you making me repeat myself? I don't understand. Why are you cooking at this time of the night? Doesn't make sense. Uh, sounds like you have had enough to eat for the night. Are you kidding me? You gonna stop? Well, I have nothing to say. What do you mean you have nothing to say? You adjusting your work schedule. Both of us can work from 8 a.m. to 8 p.m. So why do I have to be the one to adjust? You have to be the one to adjust because you're the wife. Because I'm the wife. Yes. So you think that this argument of yours makes sense? Hmm? It's outdated. Uh, I hope this your wokeness helps in this marriage. Yes. 
It's 11 p.m., Bruce. And so? To walk in here at this time is a security threat. <laughs> wow. Someone suddenly cares about me. It's not like I care. Hmm. Just that lately, this area boys have been stalking people, following them to their house in the middle of the night. Do I look like I was followed? It's the wrong time. As you can see, Mr. Security, no one followed me. So you can either go back to bed or you can continue crying. Ruth, the next time you come home after 11 p.m., I will lock the door. <laughs> I'll lock you outside. <laughs> Because I can't afford for you to risk my life because of your stubbornness and carelessness. You cannot keep me out of my own house. You cannot tell me what time to come back to my own house. Just try me. Try Come back late tomorrow. You see. All talk and no action. Lock the door. Let me see you. Rubbish. Have you even seen this thing? Babe? Yeah. Hmm? yeah? You've not been here what I was saying. I'm sorry, what did you say? You zoned out, why? My marriage just literally flashed before my eyes. But I thought him wanting a divorce would make you excited. I mean, yes, I... I I'm happy. But I'm okay, yeah. I mean, I just... Honestly, at this point, I don't care what my father left or didn't leave. I'm actually earning enough to have the kind of life that I, I would like, so... But I'm just curious. How do marriages succeed? I have no idea. But my mom used to say something. She'll say marriages work because of two people who want it to work. That's all I know. Right. Don't worry, you'll be fine. Yeah, of course. Hey. Hey. So, I'm going out to see my brother. Oh, really? That sounds good. Yeah. Um, Stanley, are you still going on with your divorce? Yes, I am. Okay. So, that means you can date right now? Yes and no. You know, I just got out of a relationship. I can just jump into another one. Mm. Yeah. Okay, that's fine. You can take your time as much as you want. I'll be waiting. It's <laughs> just one thing I like about you. You're such a patient person. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> All right. See you later. Okay. Take care of yourself. Oh well. Be safe. Okay. Okay, how are you? I don't know. Hmm. So you're still going ahead with this divorce thing, yeah? Yes, I am. How about Isabella? She went out. You want to divorce and Isabella is already in your house with you. She's basically here to help me fix tea. You know, fix the place, that's all. <laughs> I mean, she's here to cheer you up and make no, you happy. you're getting it wrong. Stop okay, okay. It's, yeah. it's actually boring. It's she boring. It's boring. I just need someone to... Oh, you should be celebrating your happiness instead of... Come alive, guy. Come alive, man. What's this? How about... So what do you intend to do with the house? If that is what will make her happy, I'll gladly... Give it to her then. I just, I just want to have peace. Hmm. He, I want to get 
stretched away from all the quarrels, the fights, the shouting. I just want to have peace, that's all. You know, you finding out that she was pushed into getting married to you, as much as you two was pushed, is one of the biggest misunderstandings of this whole marriage. But at least a woman should respect now, at least. When you talk one, she'll talk ten. I mean, how does this work? Uh, maybe you guys found something in the whole chaos that was happening in your house. You don't understand. I mean, where your kitchen did first? Guy, you know they see kitchen for them. Go <laughs> knock yourself out. This your, this your wahala, ba. If they add to my own, I need something to drink this. Let me take some. It's good to be single drink. again. <laughs> <laughs> I'm coming. All right, bro. <laughs> What? No, 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 no. Ah. Hey, Oga, please, turn. Turn. Turn, please, just go back. Go back. Yes, please. You can just go and turn from there and come back. Yeah. Go this way, go this way. Go this way, take your left. Just down with the fever. When did it start? Last night. Are you sure you're not pregnant? What? Well, pregnancy shouldn't be news to you. You're married. Well, we fought for a while, so intimacy didn't happen for a while. Oh, okay. Well, maybe you're just. Maybe it's anxiety or, I don't know, stress. Not sure. Anxiety over what? The, over, over the fact that you're single again or maybe you just found out that you're still in love with Stanley. It's just fever. Okay, fine. If it's just fever, then lighten up. Maybe you're bored. Do something fun. Something different. Like maybe go on a date with Dan. How did Dan get into this conversation? I'm just trying to look for a solution. Maybe, maybe when you sit with Dan, you will understand what this feeling is about. It's just fever. Fine. Okay, you said it's not your husband. You're not missing Stanley. You're not pregnant. <sighs> maybe going on a date with Dan would explain something. Sorry. Have you eaten? No. Of course. Alice to the rescue. Let me get you something to eat and please lighten up. Just fever.
you should know my dad and how he enjoys to call me Paris. By the pet name he gave me. Hmm. Hmm? So one day. Isabella, what do you know about marriage? I don't understand. I mean, what is marriage to you? Stanley, how am I supposed to know that? I've never been married. Okay, fair enough. Can you talk about marriage using your parents as reference? You've stayed with them now, so. <laughs> okay, I know that they have this respect, very deep respect for each other all the time. And? And... They share this friendship they seem to be enjoying, even right now. So what would you say is that... Stanley, <clears throat> what are you doing? Why are you asking me all these questions? I'm trying to have a conversation with you, and here you are talking about marriage, marriage, marriage. Yeah, I'm, I'm sorry. I'm, I'm sorry, okay? I'm so sorry. Please. Um, it's fine. Go on with your story, eh? You don't seem to be interested. No, I am, I am. I'm interested, please. I don't mind me. Oh, come on, please. Please, I prefer to eat my food inside. Thank you. We got together for the wrong reasons. Thought we could get away with our appearances. Mm. But it only takes time to uncover. <laughs> All the light to see that is covered. You know, somehow I feel like I've learned my lesson. Well, guess what? I am not losing you again. Is everything okay? Mm hmm. Why? You've been staring at the door. You know, I asked you if you're sure that I should come here. Yes, of course. I mean, I'm not complaining about you being here. She was staring at the door like you were waiting for him to walk in. Waiting for... What? No, I... We're separated. Maybe we should just go to the restaurant like I suggest. No. No, I told you I'm not feeling too well to go out. Which is why I agreed to come here in the first place. But then we've not been able to have a conversation. Right. Um, I apologize. Let's have a conversation. <laughs> How are you enjoying the food? Okay, yeah, of course. It's really tasty. It's, it's nice. Good. So, um, tell me about, um, have you been, you know? How is everything coming together? <sighs> Oh, yeah. We got together for the wrong reasons. Thought we could get away with our appearances. Mm -hmm. But it only takes time to uncover. Two years. Pissing me off every walking moment. Nonsense. I talk one, you talk 25. How can I not be a man in my own house? Always fighting for your right that I don't even understand. I don't understand how I got here myself. I don't.
All the lies I see that is covered. Now, these years have opened our eyes to the wrong skin that make right. We can only argue and fight. Nothing is working, no, no. These years have opened our eyes to the wrong skin that make right. We can only told your family about it? No. When do you intend to? It's none of your business. Did you ever plan on getting married in your life? You have no right to ask me that. So why are the back and forth with your husband and your ex-boyfriend? That is so rich. Coming from you who was with a bimbo. I was having a business meeting. Really? Well, not like I owe you any explanation. I was having a meeting too. Dan and I have been going back and forth over a project that was handed over to me by the management. And he walked up to me and said he wanted to talk before he resigns. That's what you saw. So that's the reason why you guys were at the restaurant? Yes. Did you? You were truly having a meeting? Yes, I was. I 
I know you're strong-willed. You could be annoying sometimes, but don't. You drive me crazy. Oh, you do a great job driving me crazy too. That's exactly the point. You always come with a banter. Look. I know the smudge then started as a rouse. I don't really care anymore. All I want to do is to love you and appreciate you for who you are. Can we make this work? But I guess um, we're not on the same page. Wait. Listen. All I've wanted is a happy home. Me too. I just want us to be able to talk about things. Fight for this. I miss you. I miss you too. I just want us to start all over again. But you left. No matter what you don't leave. Because I couldn't stand watching you, my wife with another man. I'm sorry. Can I move back so we can start all over here? I want us to talk, please. Stanley. Please, sit. Okay. Um, I'm going back to my wife. What? You're going back to that toxic relationship? It's no longer going to be toxic. I'm going home to my wife. How do you know that? I want to make our marriage work again. I, I want to fix our marriage. I, look, I'm, I'm sorry if I give you a wrong signal or, or I did anything to, you know, to excite you. I, I want to make my marriage work. Please understand. I miss my wife and I love her so much. Please don't, don't take it the wrong way. Okay? S Stanley, I, I don't understand. What are you talking about? What I'm saying is, I need to make my marriage work. I like you as a friend. You've been wonderful with them. I love my wife. Are you serious? I just want you to understand. Okay? I... You can stay here for as long as you want. I... I paid for a month. If you'll excuse me, I'll... I'll go pack my tents. I hope you're okay. Stanley, do you think I like staying here? Do you? Please, please, Isabella, try and understand me. I want to make my marriage work. I'm sorry.
Hi, Dan. Hey. Hi. I was thinking I should come and see you today. I'm sorry, but that won't be possible, Dan. I'm... I'm back with my husband. Are you for real? I... I thought you guys were getting a divorce. Well, not... not anymore. I mean, I'm sure you can agree with me that these things happen. Sometimes you fall in love, fall out of love, and then you fall in love again. I'm... I'm sorry, but my husband and I are trying to make it work. And I'm so sorry to have dragged you into this, but I'm in love with my husband. And I'm sorry, Dan. Begin 